Hey guys, so I apologize if the sound quality isn't very good on this video. I just spent like 10 minutes trying to get everything hooked up and my Yeti is not wanting to be recognized by my computer, so I don't know what the problem is. But so I'm recording using the microphone on the camera, so we'll see how this goes. But anyway, this is not a video I'm super excited about making and it will probably be the last video you see from me um, on this channel for quite a while. And today I wanted to talk about why that is. <laughs> um, so I got a comment yesterday on one of my blog posts and this is the exact wording of the comment. It is, it says, reviews require some level of objectivity. Since your level is zero, you should do the same number of reviews. And <laughs> I mean, that's annoying and it's rude, but the fact is I'm a big girl. I can handle a little criticism. Um, so like, you know, it's not like that one comment is what's driving me away from doing this kind of stuff. Um, but I, I will make a note, um, that comment is like some pretty sucky criticism because you haven't told me what I'm doing wrong or a way to fix it, right? You basically just said, I don't like what you're doing. And I'm like, oh, okay, I, I don't know how to fix this. Um, so first of all, if you're going to leave like critical feedback on like any sort of content creator's stuff, um, whether it be, you know, reviewers or, um, you know, just anything, try and give them something to actually work on, right? Like leave constructive feedback, but that's beside the point. Um, you know, yeah, it's rude and whatever, but it, I think is symptomatic of this like turn that sort of the stationary community has taken that I don't really agree with. And if you are newer here, so I've been doing this for a while now. Like I started my Tumblr that was like devoted to doing like pen and ink reviews back in February of 2014. So it's been almost three years that I've been doing this. And um, I feel like I kind of got into this whole thing when, you know, fountain pens and all of this kind of stuff and like sort of the um, like uh, artisanal stationary kind of stuff, like it was on the upswing, right? Um, it was, you know, kind of coming back into vogue. It was really getting popular. Um, and, and it was a good time to be in there because there wasn't a ton of people. It was a lot of room for people kind of like me getting in at the bottom and um, a lot of just like building each other up and lifting people up and, um, you know, everyone really supporting the community and just being really wonderful. And I definitely think that there's a lot less of that now. Um, now that this has definitely become more mainstream, there's been a lot of, um, you know, people kind of making this their job, which like, that's not a problem. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, I've met, you know, Brad Dowdy, who now does like this whole kind of thing full time with like Notco and stuff. And, and he's a wonderful guy and I fully support him and will support him if I need, you know, if I want to buy his products again. Um, I've met the guys from like Story Supply Co. Again, great people and I am 100% behind what they're doing and they make a great product and like so on and so forth. Like I have no problem against the people who have made this their job. Um, what I have a problem with is the people who are tearing down those of us where this is not our job and we just kind of do this as a hobby and, you know, expect nothing really in return and yet still get um, just just slammed. I don't know. Like, it, you know, and this is not the first video to be made about this and it probably won't be the last. And I think that's not a good thing to have to say, right? Like, um, I know, um, SBRE Brown has made videos about this. I don't know if Aziza has as well, but, um, you know, I know that this is something that's been a problem for a while. I know recently on the Pen Ad podcast, they were talking about this, like the whole, um, objectivity and like reviewing and stuff like that. Um, and so it's like, I know that this is a thing that's been going around for a while and I just, I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like the turn that things have taken. I don't like, you know, that people are just tearing each other down. Um, and it's just not really something I want to be a part of. And it's just really, um, held in stark contrast to sort of the other community that I'm part of, which is the knitting community. And, um, there it's very, like it's very like building each other up, right? Like um, everyone is really looking out for the good of everyone else. And it's a very positive, you know, uplifting community. And I really like that um, in contrast to this, right? Um, and, you know, I, I know that like there's been a lot of talk lately about objectivity and reviews and stuff. And 
I mean, I guess I'll come out and say it. Like, I don't like giving negative reviews. And so a lot of reviews I've done in the past have been, um, you know, like, well, this is a good product, but it's not something I would buy. Like, I know I've said that a lot. And I know a lot of people might not like that, but it's true. You know, like, these are pens. These are completely a luxury item. Um, it's kind of an elitist hobby in a way because it's like nobody needs these, right? Like we can all get on just fine with regular pens and yet we choose to spend hundreds of dollars on these things and um, And so, you know When I do reviews, especially like of something that's been lent to me or something that's been sent to me to review You know, it's like well the fact that I didn't already have it means that it's not really my style But that doesn't mean it's a bad thing, right? I've never gotten a pen that like just didn't write so if it writes, then it's probably good for someone, um, you know, so I have a really hard time, you know, really bashing a product that does the bare minimum of what it's supposed to do, which I think is what people don't like, you know, they want me to like really be harsh on things. And it's like, well, you know, if it's a notebook, does it have paper and does the paper stay in the cover? then it's an okay notebook, you know? Um, it might be overpriced for what it is, but that's a whole nother story. Um, same with pens, you know, it's like, well, does it transfer ink from the inside of the pen to the outside of the pen to stay on the paper? Then it does what it's supposed to do, right? Everything beyond that is personal choice. And I feel like it's definitely that way in the knitting community. You know, it's like there's a lot of people who just give rave reviews on like certain like yarns that have been dyed, you know, by certain dyers because they like the way that it works, right? Beyond that, it's like, well, is it yarn? Can you knit with it? Yes. Okay, then it's a fine product. Right, the only times in the knitting kind of stuff where I've had to give like a poor review or had to call a company out is like commercial companies that, you know, I get their yarn and there's like knots in the skein or it's like dyed really poorly. Well, then it's like, okay, yeah, like this did not do what it's supposed to do and you're a large scale commercial company that should be better than this. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, even then it was like, well, it still knits, I still made something out of it, so okay. So I don't know, I think, you know, it's just, it's a problem and I don't like it and I don't really have a solution to it, but I know that the solution for me is just not to be a part of this anymore. Um, you know, like I said, I'm a big kid. I can handle the criticism. That's not the issue. It's just that this isn't fun for me anymore, um, which, you know, is kind of shown by the fact that I haven't made a lot of videos lately. It's just, it's not something I want to sit down and do. And, you know, I just, I don't enjoy this playing around with pens and stuff anymore because I've kind of found what works and, um, you know, I just would rather do other things with my time. So yeah, I don't know, maybe this video will never get posted, maybe it, you know, will. I just felt like I needed to sit down and say something about this and um, put a face to it. You know, I think people who want to leave negative comments on things, they forget that there's a human being behind there and especially when it's someone where this is not their job, you know, it's like, you know, we're doing this in our free time to help the rest of the community out to like, cause we feel like it betters the rest of the pen community. And you're basically just, just giving them a big old middle finger and saying like, nope, you weren't helpful. And it just makes it hard to want to do it anymore. And so I don't want to do it anymore. So, um, you know, I'm not going to take down the videos that I've made in the past. I'm not going to like do any of that because I hope that they are still useful for people. But I think this is going to be my sort of like peace out for at least the foreseeable future. And yeah, good luck, guys. Um, I'm hoping that things improve and I can come back someday. But just for right now, this is not a place where I want to be and not a place where I want to spend my limited amount of free time. So thanks for for the time that I did have. And um make good choices and be nice to each other.